Boston won five of the seven head-to-head matchups last year and has not lost the season series to Minnesota since 2015. The Minnesota Twins and Boston Red Sox will play the third game of a four-game series on Sunday afternoon at Fenway Park. After the Twins took Friday's opener with an 8-4 win, Boston evened the series with a 4-0 win on Saturday. Boston is 4-4 while the Twins are 3-5. Ryan shines as Twins get back on track. Starting pitching was always going to be the question for Minnesota last year, so it has to be thrilled with how youngster Joe Ryan performed on Friday to win the opener in Boston. The offense was also clicking, as Luis Ariz had run scoring hits in both the first two innings with Miguel Sano also launching a homer, with Gary Sanchez's two-run single in the fifth also providing insurance. Tired, actual snowstorm snowflake. Wired, Sano storm snowflake 43 QX for a tricky 7, Minnesota Twins, April 15, 2022. Ryan tossed six terrific innings, allowing one run on five hits and no walks while striking out seven. Ariz was on base three times while driving in a pair, while Jorge Polanco added a double, two walks and a run scored. Our guys being able to go out there and have some good at-bats late in the game and add two runs to the scoreboard, that's the difference between winning and losing a lot of games, manager Rocco Baldelli said about adding two runs in the ninth via the Associated Press. The Twins got blanked on Saturday, 4-0. They only mustered five hits with Trevor Larnach getting three of them. Sonny Gray took the loss. The Twins remain down on the money line even with Friday's upset, and they are also 3-5 on the run line so far. Overs are 2-5-1 for the Twins early, but Friday's opener in Boston went well over the betting total. Minnesota has struggled more than expected at the plate in small sample size, averaging 3.50 runs per game with a .632 collective ops. The Twins pitching staff is right at the league average with a 3.93 era, including a mark of 4.17 from the bullpen. Ariz is a top performer at the plate with a .348-.381-.550 line, one homer, and four RBI. Sanchez has been productive for his new team with a double, a homer, and seven driven in to begin the year. Bailey Ober will get the ball for Minnesota after beating the Mariners last weekend, allowing four runs on four hits and two walks with four strikeouts in five innings. The 26-year-old made 20 solid starts as a rookie last season, going 3-3 with a 4.19 era and just 19 walks in 92.2 innings. Unfortunately, the Twins got some bad news on Friday, as Brian Buxton left the game with a knee injury after dominating at the plate opening week with a 1.058 ops, three doubles, three homers and four RBI. It is not expected to be a long-term issue, but Buxton is out for a week, and it's a concern given his past injury history. Outfielder Alex Kirillov is also sidelined by wrist inflammation. Starting pitcher Kent Ameda will miss the entire season recovering from Tommy John surgery, while Randy Dobnik has a strained finger. Reliever Jorge Alcala hit the IL earlier this week with elbow inflammation, and Cody Stashak is also recovering from a strained biceps.